crude oil trade it bearish for the day it is respected the resistance levels on the upside i have mentioned very clearly in my first update today that 79 79.2 is going to be a stronger milestone for oil to break past by it is reversed precisely from the same zone and is now seen trading at 78.2 levels while natural gas is the one which is consistently traded bullish today we have seen it now moving towards 2.23 levels here what to expect now with the u.s session can we expect this trend to continue where the oil might try to trade bearish and the net case continue to rally on the upside what is going to be our strategy in order to profit today trading crude oil wti and net gas we are going to see with the help of charts and indicators this is the second update for the day first update those who had watched must have already profited the subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications do like share and comment which is a great motivation and support Join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on YouTube to support the effort. Let's start first to look into US crude followed with net gas watch. Now see uh, oil here on the early charts after the drop here it has definitely got a stronger resistance here at 79, 79.2 as we have discussed earlier and since then it has traded bearish it is looking downwards. Now remember on the downside still it has got very strong support at 77.8 and 78 zone. So if you see it is staying below 78 Point one levels when you see oil staying below 78.1 you can take a selling entry however you have to be extremely care careful as long as it stays above 77.8 below 77.8 is only where you can say that the bears will take over and then we can look forward to 77.3 77.4 else it can bounce back again the stock has take oversold MACD almost flat and it is trading bearish RSI is oversold here coming to two hour chart the observation on the two hour charts is almost same you can see a reversal sign here after after hitting the highs it is looking downwards trading bearish here once it stays below 78.278 zone more bearishness and then towards 77.8 you can say more bearishness will be seen there a stock has take oversold MACD bearish RSI oversold coming to 3 hour on the 3 hour charts preceding candle was a breakout candle a sharp bearish move was seen current candle also continued here only thing is we have to wait how far it can stretch this drop Yes, at 77.8 and 77.3, we will see maximum support and then 77 will be seen, the next strongest support. Stock ISIC looking down, MACD also trading bearish, looking downwards. RSI has come towards oversold zone. On the 4-hour charts, if you look at, see on the 4-hour charts, if you see this, it has been trading in this zone, the highs of this channel are towards 82. Now, uh, there are critical resistances available for oil on the upside, 81 is 1, 81.5 and 82. Till 82 very very strong resistance and then the strongest one is towards 83. It has to break these resistances in order to stay bullish. Moving averages are now looking downwards, staying bearish. The stock has take oversold. MACD divergent and bearish. RSI oversold. Coming to daily. Now before we look into daily charts, if you want to learn this art of trading, join my mentorship batch. And if you just want to trade as per the signals, you can be part of my signals channel on Telegram. Write an email or ping me your telegram for your queries related to the services and those who had asked me to recommend a broker, the recommended broker link is also there in the channel and video description. Yes, it offers a SAP free account, lowest spreads and no hidden charges, just do not miss to join the broker and enjoy profits. Now look at the daily chart, see after just one bullish candle, so you have seen this is the second and today it is the third bearish candles here in succession. Now, if you look at this was the point where it is consolidated from where we have seen it rising towards the highs here. Thus, this is going to be a prime support zone here at 78, 77.6, 77.3 and then 77. Till 77, oil has extremely important support here. The stock has take oversold, MACD trading bearish and RSI is looking downwards. So, this is very easy considering the charts now. First, let's talk about the levels to buy. I will recommend you to buy only if and only if you see oil is staying above 78.6 levels where you can expect it to move towards 79, 79.2 which is going to be a prime resistance. Any move beyond 79, 79.2 is a clear indication that it is going to crash. It is going to rise sharp. 79, 79.2 is going to be one very strong resistance for the day and then uh, 79.6, 80, 80.2 and then we can look forward to 81. Chances for which looking at the move right now appears to be very, very less. On the downside, a selling entry now I'll recommend is at 78 levels below which 77.8, very good support here. Below 77.8, we can look forward to 77.3, 77.4 first target and 77 the second target. Take your positions accordingly. 
trade with the stop loss and a trailing stop loss till 77.8 on the downside is not taken do not trade this as bearish and on the upside 79.2 is not taken do not trade this as bullish here take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at natural see natural gas showed a very very good recovery rise retracement forming the base here it is trading in this bullish channel where are the eyes of this channel towards 2.25 so once it stays above 2.25 more bullish momentum is to be seen where we can expect it to move towards 2.28 and 2.3 levels and in fact if it stays above 2.3 in the near future we may see it trading towards 2.35 2.5 2 2.6 levels the moving averages have crossed over here trading with divergence is staying bullish stochastic overbought MACD rising RSI is overbought as well on the two hour charts if the natural gas on the two hour charts after staying bearish the the MACD the moving averages have started to cross over almost after a couple of weeks or more and now see these are looking upwards and staying bullish now it is very very important for it to break beyond 2.25 levels which will confirm its further rise so these are the levels you should be watchful of 2.25 on the upside beyond which you can initiate a buying entry stochastic overbought MACD rising RSI overbought here coming to 3 hour on the 3 hour charts similar observation it appears to be on rise rise a slight flat movement first bullish candle and we can expect a second bullish candle here which can in fact take it towards 2.28 2.3 levels possibility is there because see again a very good base is formed a rise retracement and since then it is trading bullish looking upwards stochastic is overbought the MACD is divergent and bullish the RSI is rising here signs of bullishness on the 4 hour charts if the observation is more or less same here rise retracement and now it has come to 50 period moving average now these are definitely going to be critical levels so if you see it in fact staying about 2.24 you can initiate a buying entry and then expect it to move towards 2.26 2.3 levels possibilities they are very very good resistance till 2.6 should be 2.26 should be observed here beyond 2.3 is where the bulls are waiting so you have to be watchful till then the stochastic overbought MACD is rising looking up first staying bullish RSI is also looking up first and staying bullish coming to the daily on the daily charts you can see higher lows higher highs looking up first trading with divergence from the moving average 20 period which is sitting at around 2.3 2.32 zone and uh, yes a rise about 2.25 should make it move towards 2.3 2.32 very very soon let's see if it continues to move towards these levels right now the moving averages are trading with divergence staying bearish looking downwards the stock stochastic is showing a rise the MACD is on the verge of a crossover this is a bullish cross here the RSI is showing a rise as well so looking at this very simple you can buy here at 2.24 levels expect 2.26 2.28 2.3 levels beyond 2.3 I'll, I'll, I'll wait for the next target towards 2.36 2.4 levels as the next targets if not today some point of time soon we may see these targets on the downside a selling entry right now is uh, situated at around 2.1918 and if you see net gas trading below 2.1918 you can say uh, it is bound to reverse and then you can look forward to 2.15 and 2.1 levels possibility is there but I, I do not see it breaking at least today it may continue to trade bullish it can look forward to the highs and uh, see 2.3 2.35 zone is also achievable but you have to strictly trade with your stop losses and a trailing stop loss like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship badge join my signals channel reach out to me for your queries related to the services join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort see you again with the asia and europe session tomorrow do not miss to watch that update thank you have a great profitable trading day thank you